Greetings, greetings. What's going on, everyone? Jermaine Robertson here with the Robertson team. Sorry about the echo. All right, so let me go ahead and tell you about this. We're at our Monday property pick of the week. Um, the reason why we pick some of the homes that we pick, this one's been on the market 102 days. And 102 days pretty much means that that is a great opportunity for somebody to be able to get their hands on a beautiful home. This one's in the North Valley. It's a little bit off Central, 7th Street and Northern. No HOA, five bedrooms, three baths. It's in a community called Beautiful, Beautiful Gardens. So if that's an any indicator about what kind of home we're getting ready to look at, then you can actually absorb that. And here's the thing about a home that's been on the market 102 days. It is a great opportunity for a buyer to be able to get a home, if this is what's, you know, it's kind of on your wish list, to be able to get a home that actually fits your needs. And Grace, also an opportunity for a seller to be able to sell their home. Now, this is a fully remodeled, five bedrooms, three bath, um, 2,356 square foot home that has somewhat of a guest casita connected to it. And then it has like two other structures on here, one for like some utilities, uh, utility, utilitarian tools, and then the other one's like a storage slash garage parking space. But this is in a community that was built in 1956. So the home is completely remodeled. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look through. We're gonna go through the backyard. We're gonna go through the other structures. Then we're gonna go through the main home and just kind of give you an overview and I'll walk you through it as we do it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now coming outside, um, what I notice first and immediately is it's very, very tranquil, very low maintenance, artificial grass, rocks, pavers, very minimal uh, vegetation. If, if anything, it is very low maintenance, uh, mature landscaping out here. And now you have a covered garage right there that you can pull all the way through. Uh, they are using it for storage right now. Uh, you have a double RV gate that they are using to pull a car through. Um, and that is the main home. This is a five bedroom, three bath, 2,356 square feet. That is an additional house that has an additional structure that was added on to this already uh, 11,000 square foot lot uh, that is a place to store your um, your tools you have a pool with its own water fountain features now for this structure right here it appears they're using a mini split which is an alternative to a traditional um, AC unit and now if we were to go back into the house you would go through these French doors and then you would go out to the front but we're gonna go through this addition right here and we're gonna look at this other part of the home which appears to be either a huge master suite um, or it could be a double four an additional um, guest casita. And you have your stacked washer and dryer. And I'm gonna say this is more so a guest casita, which could be a very good opportunity for somebody who is looking to potentially an Airbnb from out of their home. Um, you know, given there's no regulations against that, this could be a great opportunity because it has a main suite up front with three bedrooms or four bedrooms, two bath. Then it has this guest suite. Now there is a connecting area right behind me that goes directly into the main house, but that area can be shut off. Now just kind of walking through this and we'll go into the main suite uh, in a second. 
But walking through here, and then you see another mini split, uh, recessed lighting, very well lit up, beautiful tile plank floor, soft water system, lots of space. So this definitely could double as a Airbnb or as a guest suite. Um, it does have its own full shower and bath and a single sink. And then now we're gonna go out of here and we're gonna go into the main, uh, the main quarters. And then you have another bath shower here, shower bath here. So this is a five bedrooms, three bath, but I believe that is a guest suite. I have not uh, had any indicators to tell me if that is a guest suite or how they're treating it. But here is a different, here is a completely separate washer dryer connection, which tells me that this is the main area of the home. And then that is a guest suite back there that is completely um, uh, anonymous to this, this main home, which again, could be a great opportunity uh, if you have uh, parents that are living with you, uh, that you know you would like them to have their own uh, quarters, or if uh, you, again, you're looking to run in some kind of business out of there, uh, that could be an opportunity as well. So now we're inside the kitchen area of the main house, stainless steel appliances, granite countertop, um, counter height or counter depth sink, uh, this is a 42-inch uh, cabinet, 42-inch uh, uppers, which lots of cabinet space given the room, given the area, uh, ceiling fans in every area. And then now we're in the actual uh, front entrance of the home. There is a fireplace, there is a wood-burning fireplace, huge uh, uh, picture window. A lot of people like those because they're great opportunities to set your Christmas tree up in front of it. And with the holidays coming around, what would be a better present than to be able to get the keys to your new home? And uh, that, that process could only take 20 to 30 days in most instances. And then here is your other bathroom. And this would be the third bathroom. And then this is the fourth bedroom. Brand new windows, brand new flooring, brand new walls, brand new paint, brand new everything. And we'll go out front and uh, this home is closely uh, located to Camelback Mountain. So again, five bedrooms, three baths, uh, the name of the community is Beautiful Beautiful Meadows, which is a, you know a great name for it. It was established in 1950, 1956, um, and this home has been on the market for about 100 and 102 or 120 days, which makes a great negotiating uh, ability for any buyer out there who is interested in living in the area. Then you can do that, and so. As you can see, it's got close proximity to Camelback Mountain. A lot of the homes are, are irrigated property, no HOA. This is the front of it. Beautiful home, move-in ready, lots of potential, maybe even a business opportunity. Those are definitely things you're gonna wanna check with your local county uh, uh, municipalities to see if this is or does have the capabilities of running a business. But again, this is a beautiful home. It is on the market, it is, it is for sale, and I think it's a great opportunity. We like to showcase homes that have had some time on the market because I believe that those are the best homes to be able to negotiate a great deal on. And, and mainly, you're gonna pay the amount of money you're gonna pay in this area given the location. It's close and convenient to everything. You have the Biltmore, you have uh, the Colonnade, you have uh, you know close proximity to Central central phoenix if you like to go uh, up and down bridal pass but great opportunity so showcasing this home we want to uh definitely see if there's any interest in it any interest in purchasing it any interest in taking a look at it 
then uh, feel free to reach out to us or give us a call. Uh, but it's a beautiful home and uh, we'd love to show it to you. So thank you again for watching. Feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. It's not too early to close on, on your new home before the new year or before the holidays come around. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. What better way to celebrate your Thanksgiving than in your new home? Christmas as well is coming around. Great opportunities to be able to celebrate and uh, have a great opportunity uh, in your new home. So thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And we'll talk with you soon.